Hello everybody, what is up? Welcome back to my channel and welcome to everyone's favorite video of the month, including mine, my monthly reset routine. I don't know what it is, but in the last month I've seen so many other people tag me in theirs and it makes me so happy. I feel like I've been doing this since like the beginning of the year and it's so fun to see other people do it as well. But welcome, I can't believe it's almost September. I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of excited because we get to plan a lot of fall content in this video, you guys. And I'm really excited about it. But I just made myself a little coffee. Look how cute this mug is. I got it from a subscriber. I'll link her Etsy shop down below. It's literally the cutest thing ever. It makes me so happy. Happy. but I made a little coffee and we're gonna plan my month out and I'm really excited I feel like every month I say this but I've been doing a few things differently tweaking some stuff and I'm really excited to take you guys along today I feel like this month is gonna be the best monthly reset yet because I've put a lot of thought into it and switch some things around and I just I literally get so giddy to take you guys through this video like I get so giddy to take you guys through my routine like I look forward to this every month like as soon as I finish filming this I'm gonna look forward to doing my October one like I just love these videos so much I love how much you guys like them cheers take a sip of your coffee or whatever you're drinking wine who knows what time it is now we're all cozy in my little matching set. It's a very rainy, dreary, cool day here, which makes me so excited for fall. Uh, honestly, let's just jump into it. I feel like I have so much to catch you guys up on. Um, like every month, I kind of rotate the order I do things in just to kind of like switch it up for you guys. So I'm going to start with my goals this month and then we'll go to planning and whatnot. So I'm really excited this month specifically because I took more time to think out my goals for September. I feel like when I film these videos, I kind of just like sit here on the day of and then I just like on the spot have to plan out all my goals and I find I just get repetitive with my goals, which is okay. It's totally okay if your goals are repetitive because that could just be something you're really driven to work towards. But I really wanted to switch up some of my goals, personal goals. I really wanted to think throughout the month, like what is something I want to work on next month or what did I like this month that I want to turn into a goal next month or what do I want to do less of next month? And so anytime I was out for a walk with Stella, which is kind of when I'm like most creative and I get the creative juices flowing, just write things down that I was thinking in my notes pad. So I feel like I have a few really creative goals this month. So I'm really excited to take you guys along. And I thought that we could just kind of talk them out and then write them down. Cause I don't know, I just think that's like a fun way to brainstorm. So if you guys are new here, grab yourself a little journal or notebook or do it digitally, however you want. I just have this cute little bullet journal. It's actually just from the dollar store. And this is where I put all of my monthly goals in. Um, I guess I should also in this, give you guys an update on my 2021 goals. So I'm gonna do that after I do my monthly goals because we've hit a lot of 2021 goals so far. Um, but I figured we could go through my August goals really quick. This is just what they look like. Let's go through those, see what we accomplished, see what we liked, see what we didn't like, and then we'll get into the September goals. So let's do it. Um, I did hit 6.2 on Instagram, which is really exciting. I did get to 20.5 on YouTube. I uploaded three travel videos. Um, as this one is always kind of hard to predict because I do my goals early in the month. Like it's the 20th right now, but I am on track to hit it. Like I'm already at 800 and the math just adds up. So I'm going to check that off. I did have three brand deals this month, which is really exciting. Um, I didn't have an upload hit 50K, um, but that's okay. I kept up my three times a week uploads. I did upload three travel videos. And then for finances, I did make my snowball payment. I'll talk to you guys a bit more about that in like the budget portion. And then I did save a thousand. I did have a low spend month or like more of a low spend month. And then I kind of crossed this off because um, we just have other things right now to save for besides a pet emergency fund in terms of personal. I did read again. I feel like I'm really on and off with reading, but I had a really good month and I read a lot. We did take our trip. That was just kind of to throw you guys off track because by the time you guys saw the monthly reset, we were actually already in New Orleans. We did try a new restaurant. I did have a phone free weekend at the cottage. I did close my loops every day and I have hit 10,000 steps daily so far. Um, and then I don't know if I showed you guys this because I did it after, but this is my AdSense tracker. I just like to keep track of it. I think it's fun. Oh, I hit 800 today actually. And I forgot to cross that off. Alrighty guys, I think August was a really good month. Honestly, it was probably my most motivated month yet um, in terms of just like finding that YouTube motivation with travel videos and back to school and like getting to switch up my content and get out of the house. It was a really nice breath of fresh air. And honestly, even more excited for September because fall content is coming and I am so excited. So 
August was a really good month overall. We'll get obviously into the financials of it after, but um, really happy with August and I cannot wait for September even more. Um, but I wanted to take you guys through and kind of talk through a few of my personal goals for September because a lot of my social media and financial goals are just numerical. Like there's no point in talking those through. But like I said, I was writing down a bunch of notes throughout the month when I was out on walks with Stella and I just thought we could talk through some of them and maybe this will just like help you guys out too. So my first one is to try a new workout class. I've been kind of in like a bit of a rut with working out. Um, we live in like a pretty small suburban town, like it's very farmy, agriculture -y. So there's not like a lot to do. I mean, there's like a few like CrossFits and stuff, but there's like no real studios to like try anything. Like there's no spin or orange theory or anything like that. So um, I want to maybe venture out and try a new workout class somewhere. I did book orange theory for the first time tomorrow, which I'm excited about. It's like a 15 minute drive, so not bad. But I just want to kind of get out of my comfort zone with going to workout classes because that's something that brings me a lot of anxiety especially going by myself. So that's something I want to do in September, keep that going. Um, the next is to keep up with my reading. I tend to like read in chunks and then forget about my Kindle for like a month. So I want to keep up with my reading and I'm trying to write after work um, instead of jumping right into editing, which I typically do honestly because I just have so much editing and filming and emails and stuff to do. I've been trying to get off my computer and like read for an hour and then go back to editing in the evening because otherwise it's a really long day and my eyes and my head just hurt by the end of the day even with blue light glasses so I'm trying to break up the day a bit more so I've been trying to read right after work decompress and then also in the evenings so and then my next is to get back into journaling um and I've been off my journal came for a really long time and it's not the kind of journaling that you guys are thinking of like my five minute gratitude journal I'm talking about like actually writing down my thoughts um so if you guys don't know and you're new here um uh, I was actually diagnosed with PTSD in 20 I don't know when it was now, 2018, 2019. Um, I went through a bomb scare at one of the airports and I still struggle with it every day. I really struggle with being in big crowds and I still suffer from nightmares and night terrors from it. Um, and one thing that really helped me through it was journaling my thoughts and my emotions. And I've been slacking on that lately. And I think COVID was really like nice for me because we were like stuck inside and I didn't have to be in like big crowds of people and stuff and so I didn't really struggle at all but now that things are obviously starting to open up and get a bit more crowded places um it just starts to bring on a little bit of anxiety so I want to get better about journaling my thoughts whether it's like literally just writing it down on my phone or in an actual journal or typing it I kind of forget that it doesn't need to just be a journal like I can just write something on my phone whatever I'm feeling um, and yeah so I really want to get back into that and that kind of ties into today's sponsor which is better help so thank you so much better help for working with me on today's video this is one of my dream brands to work with honestly I really want to provide you guys with more resources if you guys are struggling from anything from depression to anxiety to PTSD to just needing someone to talk to I'm really beyond happy to be working with BetterHelp on today's video if you guys don't know BetterHelp is a professional counseling service offered completely online so there's no more like awkward waiting room waiting to go see someone it's completely online from the comfort of your own home they will assess your needs and match you with a counselor that kind of matches those needs and you can communicate with them in as little as 48 hours after being matched to someone also log into your account at any time and message your counselor which i always appreciate instead of having to wait for your next counseling session and you'll get timely and thoughtful responses like i said earlier you can schedule weekly video or phone sessions so you don't have to kind of go through that awkward like whole waiting room encounter and be in the comfort of your own home anyways they're also committed to finding the perfect match for you which i really appreciate because sometimes you just don't click with the first person that you're matched with and it's obviously really important to find someone that you feel comfortable opening up to and it can take a few times to find that perfect person I know for me it took quite a few times to find the perfect counselor for me when I was going through kind of like the height of my PTSD they also make it easy and free to change counselors if need be it's available worldwide and on their network of over 15,000 counselors there is broad ranges of different specialties and expertise so you'll find someone who perfectly understands what you're going through can help you through it and on the terms of finances, since that's something we talk about a lot on this channel, it's often more affordable than in-person counseling and they offer financial aid as well. So you don't have to worry about 
not going through with counseling and getting help just because you can't afford it at the time. BetterHelp wants you to start living a happier life today, so visit betterhelp.com slash carter and you'll get 10% off your first month of counseling. And join the over a million people taking charge of their mental health with a licensed professional. Thank you so much, BetterHelp, for sponsoring today's video. Like I said, I'll have all their links down below for you guys to check out and... Yeah, so one of my big goals for the month is getting back into journaling. Yeah, that's kind of all I have for my personal goals. I didn't want to make it too daunting, so I kind of kept three bigger goals for the month. Um, and then in terms of books, if I have a numeric number, I'd say five is a good one again. I think I read a bit more this month. Um, let's actually see how many books I read this month. So far I read seven. These are the books that I read this month in case you guys are curious. My personal goals for the month. Um, I just kind of like to talk through those ones with you guys and let me know if you guys like that because I feel like the other ones, like I said, are just numbers. So I'm going to go ahead and write down my September goals and whatnot. And then I will kind of quickly show you guys the rest, like the social media and the finance ones. But I kind of don't want to talk about the finance ones too much in detail because we're just about to talk about them in our budget with me. You know what I mean? But let's plan out our September goals and go through them super quick and, and then we'll move on to budgeting. Alrighty guys, here are my goals for the month. Like I said, pretty standard. Hit 21.5k on YouTube, hit 6.8k on Instagram. I'm finally getting back on Instagram. I just look like a little rebrand. Upload four fall videos, upload 12 videos, which is three times a week. And then I want to make four figures after tax this month because the last two months I've hit four figures, but then I forget that I'm now in a tax treaty, which I'll talk to you guys about after. Um, so I, it was like $800 after taxes. So I want to hit a thousand in my bank account. Uh, next, buy a new iPhone. I've never had a brand new phone. Like, I've always had an older phone. Like, I've never bought a phone, like, pre-order. So, I'm really excited. I've committed to this one. Um, make a $500 snowball payment again. Save $1,000. And then I want to do a no spend besides fall decor. Um, which I'll talk about, like, in my fall shop with me. But I want to just buy nothing for myself. Because I really don't need anything. Next, we've already talked about these. But explore a small town. Get back into a journaling. Didn't talk about this earlier. But I want to complete two home projects. I want to do our entryway. And then I also want to spray paint our fireplace. So those are the two projects I want to do this month. Read. Um, try a new workout class. And then I want to do a work from home desk makeover. Which I'm going to film. But I just the setup is just not vibing with me. So that's that. And then I also just made my little AdSense tracker. So those are the goals for the month. But that is done. We can put that away. We're gonna get into budgeting. And when I asked you guys for August what videos you wanted to see, a lot of you guys said you wanted me to talk more about YouTube money, how I make money, not how I make money, but what I do with the money and how I pay myself. So I figured I would talk about that really quick before we get into actual budgeting because I got so many requests to film a video on it and I was like, I'm not gonna film a video on it. It just kind of rolls into my reset. So um, I make money two ways on YouTube, AdSense and brand deals. So I'll first talk about AdSense. A lot of people are asking how I pay myself. And since I'm not an LLC or an incorporated, not that you have to, if you're an LLC or incorporated, but I know a lot of people do. Um, I don't, I'm not like on a payroll. I don't pay myself. Everything just goes into a bank account, which is like a business bank account. Um, uh, and then I just pay myself. Like I just transfer the money to my checkings account if that makes sense but i'll show you guys after in my budget hub um that every brand deal has like an allocation of where it's going to go and what it's going to do you guys know i typically try and just save all of my youtube income because if it was gone tomorrow i don't want to rely on that income if that makes sense so um typically i will just allocate all of that money which i'll show you guys after um so adsense i get paid once a month on the 22nd like a gets processed on the 21st but I usually get it on the 22nd and that money um I am not paying taxes on anymore because this year YouTube announced if you were a creator outside of the U.S. you had to pay taxes so I'm on a U.S. chapter 3 tax treaty so basically what that means and I've also talked about this with an accountant and everything so if you guys do it differently that's okay everyone does it differently but it doesn't mean that my way is wrong basically what it means is that Let's say I make $1,100 on AdSense in the month. They're going to take out the 20% deduction, which is their tax deduction, which is like whatever, $200. And then the rest of it goes into my bank account. Um, 
and then I can use that however. I don't have to put any more money aside because I'm in a tax treaty with the US. So when I do my taxes, we just let them know that like, hey, I paid the US this. It's just a system in place so that you don't pay double taxes between Canada and the US. That's what the tax treaty is. So before I would just put the 20% aside myself, but now YouTube does it for me. So that's how AdSense works. And typically that's like the bigger chunk and that just goes like right into my savings or whatever I have to use it for. for example, this month, it's just going towards like our Disney trip in the fall. Brand deals obviously come in very sporadically. And some months you guys will see like this month, I don't really have, I don't know, it's kind of hard because this month I had like a solid $3,000 almost come in. And next month I have like, I don't know, a couple hundred come in. It varies a lot. Um, brand deals, the brand will pay me and then I will pay my management. I just prefer it that way. I am like really, really nitpicky on finances and I'm really on top of them. So I just prefer the brand pay me and then I pay my management instead of the brand paying the management and then paying me. I just, I just, I don't know. I'm just very like on top of my finances and doing it myself. So Basically what happens is when the payment comes through, I will let the accounting department know my management company and they will send me an invoice to pay them for the commission because obviously since I work with a management company, I pay them commission for the brand deals they get me. So that's how that works. And then I just keep the remaining amount, but then I do have to still put money aside for my taxes on that because hopefully that explained it in case you were wondering, but let's jump into the budget. For like time, the um, like when I start recording on my computer to this ever, like perfectly, but I'm starting off here. This is my little budget hub. You guys know I always have this linked in my videos for you guys and I'll show you guys my every dollar in a second, but this is kind of where we're at. So over here, we just have like monthly income. Here are just my current savings goals. Um, so our Disney trip, I just need to save 400 more dollars, but that's automatic. I use the Mocha app, which I'll talk to you guys about after. This is not sponsored, obviously, um, but that's how I'm saving. It's like automatic deduction. So I have to worry about thinking about saving for that trip. And then my short-term savings, I didn't put a goal amount on because I don't, when I have a goal amount on things, like let's say this was $3,000, I'll be like, oh, I've already put 500 in, so I could just put 500 next month. Whereas I just want to continuously put putting money in my savings and not have like a goal amount. Like realistically, my goal amount is $10,000, but I don't want to see that like, oh, I've already contributed this month, so I can wait till next month. So that's that. And then I added over here like what I'm currently saving for just to kind of remind myself. So right now we're saving for Stella Spay, which is next month, and then obviously my new phone. So, I mean, it's a business expense, but that doesn't mean I don't have to pay out of pocket. So those are my current saving goals. And then up here is my upcoming savings contribution. So this is pretty much all of my brand deals and my ad senses. And then down here is anything that like I don't have a confirmed amount on yet or the brand hasn't been confirmed with the contract. So like I said, I allocate all of my brand deals and my ad sense a spot. So for example, Brewmate, Case Divine, and BetterHelp are all going into my savings and I'm using my Mocha payment. I did some ads for them to put my snowball car payment on, which I'm happy I'm finally doing that. Like I'm gonna commit and do it. Um, and then when I get my AdSense, I'm gonna pay off my credit card, which is like flights and stuff and like trip stuff we had to do. And then I split it up because I'm getting 900. And this is just like how I do things, how my brain works. So 600 of that is going on my credit card and 300 of it is going into my savings. August, everything went according to plan. Um, some stuff I might have to move to September, like these, payments if they don't come in time. I know Brewmate will, they're really quick, but Case to Find Mocha, I don't really know when those will come in. So I might have to move those over to September, but everything else went like according to plan. Um, and like I said, it was definitely a big income month and you guys will see like September is definitely not as big. So let's go into September. So as you guys know, I try and just rely on my actual paychecks to pay my bills. Um, I haven't picked up any shifts at my other job yet. I'm waiting to hear back on that. So as you guys know, my new method is kind of like making sure everything matches up here and then I will add the extra incomes in. So um, mortgage, condo. I got a lot of questions about our mortgage. Matt and I split that. Our mortgage is not $800 a month. <laughs> um, this is zero. Matt pays all of the little bills um, just because I'm someone who believes that your bills should be split equitably um and matt and i do make around the same money so that's why we split the big stuff down the middle but the small stuff he pays for because i have more bills than him in terms of like car payment and stuff um so i don't pay like the gas or the internet or amazon or anything like that 
Um, 80 should be good. We won't really be going to the cottage much because it'll be getting cooler. So I think I'll be good with 80. Uh, car insurance, groceries. We've been doing weekly groceries instead of bi-weekly, which has actually been saving us a lot of money. Coffee shops, I put that down because I honestly just haven't really been going out to get coffee much. I probably actually will though because of it being fall. So I'm going to up that to 50 because there's two of us to pay for when we go out. So, and we want to explore a small town. So that take out 100. Um, spending, I really want to lower this to 100. I don't know if I can do it, but like I said, I wanted to have like a no spend besides Halloween shopping. This is actually going to be 200. Oops. That's kind of annoying. Um, okay, I think I can actually probably lower our groceries. Matt and I take, like we split them. So in a month, I'd say we spend 400, which this should be 200 because we used to just take turns paying for groceries and now we split it down the middle because sometimes like one person's grocery bill would be 50 bucks and the next person's would be like 170. And so we just split it down the middle now. And I, I think based on last month, 400 is a good amount. Um, okay, so my fall shopping, I have that at 200. I already have that money put aside. I honestly don't think I'm gonna spend that much, but it's there in case I need it. But it doesn't mean I need to spend it all. And then spending, I really want to do 100. That's Let's go ahead and add in the rest of the income. So my AdSense, based on what it is right now, low end will be 900. Low, low, low end. So that is gonna go into our. I don't really know where I'm going to put that. Probably my short-term savings. Um, actually, that's a lie. I have to use that for my new iPhone. That's a lie. That's going to go towards my new phone, um, which I'll just like pay the difference. And then um, I don't really feel like I have many brand deals this month, um, which is fine. Like that, it is what it is. I'm going to put that at 500. Ugh, I never know what the 20% might I'll put 500 um, and then that can go into our, oh, I took out my short-term savings. <laughs> Oops. Um, yeah, it's going to be a really small month. I don't even like see the only thing is I like I, I don't have any other brand. Oh, I guess I have case to buy, but case to buy is when the new phone comes out and I don't think that's going to be until October. So honestly, yeah, I think that's really it so far. But obviously I'll add things in as they come in. Um, I did also over here, I don't think I showed you guys this, but I made this dream budget, which was totally inspired by Renee Amberg. Um, and it was just kind of like you make a budget and then you kind of manifest it. So I would love for my AdSense to be up to 2000 and then my brand deals 2000. Um, so anyways, I just want to show you guys that quickly. But yeah, so like you can see here that this month i have a lot less coming in than this month which is kind of crazy and this is more i just haven't filled these in yet so it's kind of wild um i'm actually gonna take i don't know yeah so i have a feeling there'll be some other stuff that rolls over this month but that's my budget for now oh i guess we have stella's spay but that's just coming in my savings so I'm not really going to add that in. Like, it's just going to cancel each other out. And then other than that, I don't think we have any bills for September. I canceled my Amazon Prime. I'm just going to be a mat. Like, I don't know why two of us were paying it for this in the same house. It's kind of silly. But I don't think we have anything. Oh! I forgot my, um... My lessons, which... I think will be around 180, I want to say. Yeah, I can't believe I almost forgot about that. That's fine. Um, perfect. Okay, that equals out, which is great. I almost forgot about that. So I think that's all I have this month. Um, yeah, pretty typical month. Obviously, like if anything changes, I'll keep you guys updated. Also, let me know if you guys would want to see a budget um, like update throughout the month. Do you guys want to see one of those? Because I could totally do that. For you guys but let's see if i can do a really low spend month let's see i think i can do it i have a lot coming in like i've ordered a lot this month well not a lot but i've ordered some stuff so i should be good um and yeah so that is my budget for the month
to show you guys this because I talked about my Instagram and a lot of you guys wanted me to talk about it even more. So this is Mocha. It's only available in Canada, but I know there's other great automatic like roundup apps in the States. I love them so much that I actually filmed some ads for them. Um, but what's really great is that you can create these goals and then it will do roundups with your credit cards and stuff. And then it also can do recurring deposits and you can change the amount. So I'll show you guys one as an example. So for example, create a goal. What do you want to do? I uh, Let's say I want to go on a trip and I'm going to need to save $1,200, let's say $1,500. And I need to do it, I can do $20 a week and I can do roundups, you can change that and you can do a custom amount. And I need to achieve my goal by March of 2022. And then it will, it'll get you to pick an account so you can do a TFSA, which is what most people do. And yeah, so I'm gonna go back because I'm obviously not making one. So. That is really great and it's honestly such like a mindless way to save. Like I've saved $380 in like two months and I didn't even know. So I've been really loving that and I wanted to share that with you guys because it's a really easy way to save money if you find it difficult. Next thing I figured we could do is some planning. I wanted to show you guys a change I made. So I got this recently. I talked about it in a work from home vlog. I just got this little weekly planner. I've just been loving it. And I got this at the dollar store, ugh, I don't know, a few months ago now. And I was originally using it to like plan like concrete like my videos like and this month I decided to use it as like a brainstorm instead so I could just visually see them Allison Bickerstaff does this just as kind of like a brainstorm and I just like really liked the idea of that and see like I've already kind of made some changes and it's just a great way for me to like visualize it compared to my calendar which is like obviously very overwhelming so um this is what it looks like so I have kind of all of my videos planned out, a few fall videos. Um, so I have a few sprinkled in there and it was just like a nice brainstorm because now I can go ahead and put it in my actual video planner, which I'll show you guys. I do some more screen recordings instead of just like showing you guys because it's easier. Welcome to my new and improved Google Calendar. I, I changed her up quite recently. I just wanted everything to be on one. You guys know I used to do Google Calendar for personal and then YouTube and I just didn't like that. It needs to all be in one spot. So this is it. Um, orange is my management's calendar so I can take that on and off. And that just has like any videos that need to be submitted and like when and stuff like that. So that is that. So yellow is personal so I can take that off if I need to. And then I can also take work off and then I can just see my YouTube which is great. So this is what it looks like. You guys have all seen this before. That's like a sneak peek of the videos. Well, actually, by the time you guys see this, all these videos will be up because you're not going up until the 29th. Um, but I figured that I would take everything that I just showed you guys on the paper planner and input it into my calendar um, just to get an idea. But I wanted to show you guys kind of the new way of the calendar and then I'll show you guys kind of what I do. So I'm actually going to upload this as a bonus video on the first because I just think it's kind of necessary and I'll show you guys like one and then I'll just like um, b-roll it. But so the first thing I do is I add the videos in for my management company. They typically do this for me. I just need to fill in the title obviously. So that goes there and then down here I just do my own. And I probably could do with just having the management calendar or just, well, not just mine because they need it, but I just like to have mine as well. So I'm going to go ahead and fill in the rest of these. I just this calendar has now been put over here and obviously if I need to move anything it's always so easy you can really just drag and drop and move things around which is great um, and then as due dates come in which maybe by after my meeting I'll be able to give you guys um, any due dates we can add those in too I just put those usually in blue as you guys can see where do I have a due date here I had a few to do this week the blue so um, hopefully after my management call in a little bit, I'll be able to fill that in a bit more. But that is kind of the planning for the month. YouTube videos is such a process. So now that I have everything in here, I need to go and put them in here. Which this I showed you guys last month, I believe. Back of my videos. I don't know. I just really, I really like it. So I keep track of it in a million places. But I'd rather that than have it not enough. So I'm going to go in here now. I've already put the dates, which this is just every Sunday, Tuesday, Thursday in the month. And I'm going to go ahead and put all of my videos in for the month. So you guys can... Watch me do that. It's just like an extra spot to have things. Oh, 
that is all updated now i swear the lighting in here gets so dark whenever i have a candle going but um everything is all in there for the month and then when this month is done here i can close this now um i usually will just drag this into the previous month and this way i can like look back and kind of see what i did so that's that so videos for september are done Hey guys, I had to take my sweater off. It was getting so warm and I was like really getting in the zone with planning and stuff and I was getting really warm. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And I'm always sad that these videos are over, but I hope you guys enjoyed. I know that you guys like to have them on in the background while you plan and stuff too. So I tried to make today's video as long as possible. And I don't know, let me know down below what one of your goals is for the month. I would love to know. I love interacting with you guys in the comments. Don't forget to give this a big thumbs up if you did enjoy. It lets YouTube know that you enjoyed my video and it puts it out there to more people, which we love to grow our little family. Subscribe if you haven't already. I upload three times a week, work, productivity, finance, lifestyle, planning, all that kind of stuff. And if you enjoyed this video, I'm sure you would enjoy my others. And I will talk to you guys next time. Bye!